We back, we doing another public interview with the Streetwalkers. I'm here with... Miami. Miami, how you feeling today? I'm feeling, um, okay, I'm feeling good. Looking like good, that. check out our drip. Young black queen, check out our drip. Yeah. Okay, so, um, um, how long have you been prostituting? Did the crack cocaine lead to the prostitution, or did the prostitution lead to the crack cocaine? Uh, the crack cocaine and heroin left to the prostitution. I've been out here for 12 years now. 12 years? Yeah, 12 years. I've been with the same dealer. They, they don't try to help me. Um, this time they haven't sold to me because they wanted me to do better. No really believed in me. Yeah. Um, all the dope boys. Um, right now I'm on John R. and Seven Mile. I've been around. I've been from here to Kentucky and back. Um, I used to be on Cherish and Six Mile Pony. Okay, yeah. so, um, Tell me, what job was you working before? You know, um, I was working in a psychiatrist's office down in Miami. I've done everything from um, interior decorating to um, being an electrician to um, working in a doctor's office for psychiatry. That's what I went to college for. Have you ever been to rehab? I have been to rehab. I've been to rehab at least uh, six times. Sacred Heart, Meridian, um, uh, QBH, I've been at least about six times fighting for my life. It's really incredibly hard. So, how much is a date with you? How much is a date with me? Uh, a date with me varies. Um, I'm more of a high-end date. Right. I would say it's at least about uh, 50 or better. 50 or better. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is something you love about yourself? Something I love about myself is that I raise four beautiful, incredible women. She was like a party, Karen, Nesta, and Juju. Um, those are my angels. Um, I put a lot of work into them before I get drugs. And um, I really want to get better for it now. Have you ever been diagnosed with any mental issues? Yeah, I've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia um, and major depressive disorder. Um, that's that, that's something that actually leads me to do more drugs, like not being able to take your medication. Yeah. You be unbalanced and it makes you uh, actually want to do drugs more. Is it somebody out here making you do this? Uh, no, there's definitely not anyone out here making me do this. Um, it's definitely when you said you told the police you got raped, they didn't even do anything they about didn't it. Do anything. I, see. I was telling the guy that he's right there, that's the guy that raped me. And they um was asking me, Was I hearing voices in my head? And when I got to the hospital, my whole back was bloody. Oh, and that's when oh. he believed my story and he got a pen and he wanted to take the story. Okay. But the way they treated me, I didn't even want to give the um the tales. Like most girls that have been raped, they don't even tell. About right. a guy that's been raped. We see the rapists walking around us every day. They rape girls over and over again. The same rapists. Oh, wow. When I get off of drugs, I want to work in sex crime. Because I want to nail every one of them bastards. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's a great one. Hell yeah. That's a way to yep. kick I know them back where they, the I know what car they drive. They say the same car. They do it in the same location. They have the same routine when they rape a girl. He's a rapist with a what tattooed on his face? He's young. He, he's, he's good looking. He has tattoos on his face. And he drives like a white van with a hump in it, one of them old creepy vans, and he's yeah. raped eight girls. Eight. Last but not least, if you had to leave the youth with something for they won't end up prostituting and ending up on the streets, what advice would you give them? I would definitely say listen to your parents, uh, keep God faith in your heart. Um, I believe in Jehovah God the Almighty. Every time I see a young girl, I say, you are beautiful, you are loved, you are blessed. And I say, look at me. I say, no, look at me. I say, I used to be a model. I used to be rich. I say, I have kids who love me, family love me. I went to college. I say, this is not the lifestyle that I chose. But if you are to not listen to your parents and if you are to try, like, weed or anything, they put in stuff in everything. Yes, this could happen to you. This could be your life. And I'm fighting for my life right now. I really am. I do heroin. This is so hard. Yeah, we we got resources for you. Let us know. I know you say you're not ready today, but we we out here we out here all the time. So, you know, I'm gonna leave you with my car. Too. All right, we all back. Right. We doing another public interview with the Streetwalkers. I'm here with Mink. Mink, how you feeling today? I'm feeling awesome. Okay, Mink. So, um, how long have you been streetwalking, doing your thing, prostituting? I've been doing this shit since I was about 14 years old. Who introduced you to prostitution at 14? My mama. I Okay. Okay. Your mama told you never come home with a wet ass and a broke pocket. That's right. I heard that saying in Detroit from you. I heard that saying. So, um, where are you from? I'm from Detroit, Michigan. So your mother introduced you to prostitution. Did she like put you on the stroll with her, or she no, showed you? No, the... she just told me the game. She just told you the game. Yeah. How much is it for a date with you? How much is it for a date for me? Um, eighty if you want to play. And um, 40 if you want to suck. It used to be 100, but shit, man, you know, pandemic and shit, yeah. prices went down and everything. Okay. Or up. 
What made you choose the streets over being at home? Over being at home, which I could be. Mm -hmm. um, I like my own money. Check out our trip. I'm, addic I'm addicted to the lifestyle. Do you have children? I have four kids. Okay. How do you think they feel about it? I think my son, he's still your guy. I think he's starting to, starting to really tune in. I don't right. know, he just started calling me mama. Oh. Oh, you haven't been around as much? No. Okay. So who, who was they with? My mom. Oh, okay. Your mom stopped prostituting? No, um, she never was a prostitute. She just ain't fucking with no broke niggas. She's not oh, no free oh, okay. Oh, 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 you took it literally and ran yeah, with she, it. Yeah, ran oh, okay, with okay, 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 okay. Okay. When I jumped off the porch, I'm, she ain't no free pussy. Real talk. Okay, so, um, what's something you miss about your regular life before you started this? How I like to write poetry. You like to write poetry? Yes, I'm very lyrical. Oh, okay, okay. What was your dream job, or do you still have one? Um, nursing, and I still have one, caregiving. Yeah. I care good. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time you was checked for STDs? For STDs? Be honest. Um, 90 days ago. Yeah. Did you have anything? No, I ain't had shit. When was the last time you had last an STD? Last time a bitch had an STD? Yeah. When I went to treatment the first time. Okay. My motherfucking nigga, tricking with these hoes, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And gave me gave me the clap. What's the clap? The clap is like um, trick them on it. Yeah, that's what most people say. Have you ever been raped or robbed out here? Be honest. I definitely been raped and robbed. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Um, so, but not on the East Pad. Do you just only maybe robbed? Okay. Do you only perform services for men? Or do you perform services for women too? I prefer, uh, I perform services for both. Last but not least, when guys rape, do they use condoms? Some of them don't. Some of them don't. Okay. Um, Most of them don't. And does it cost more for bareback? It definitely costs more for bareback, but I'm not bareback in shape. Okay. And if you had to leave the youth for one last thing, for they won't wind up being out here doing this thing, not let what would you tell them? Stay at home, stay in school, and listen to whoever, listen to whoever's trying to guide you to a positive life.